Okay, hey, this is Baylor, and uh, this video is going to fix bugs, I hate bugs, that I accidentally left in the last video, not really paying attention. Uh, first of all, let's just do this. Um, uh, what I want to do is show you that right now everything fails, no matter what I do. Uh, if I try to run this, you can see it, it just takes me back to the same page. Uh, I actually changed that and do sign up. That's not supposed to be there. <laughs> You're getting to see ahead of what I want to show you. Um, let me pull that out. Uh, yep, I think that's where I want it. Okay. Um, okay. So the big thing is, is that right now, you know, we have in our functions.php. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do this because it's bugging me. Never mind. We have the uniqueness of username and email address. Uh, I'm going to actually set it up so that we can kind of see this stuff. So when we do sign up .php, um, I, 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 add, I added this uh, to uh, set it up so that I could get the form back. I'm going to debug our uh, user errors variable. Uh, so we can actually see what's happening here. You can see the uniqueness of username and email address fail, which is what we want problem is if this is not you know this isn't an account if I try to do this it still fails so to fix that what we need to do is I forgot to put it in there I don't remember how or why or when but right here where we get our rows we need to add mysql where the field equals the field value okay that's required because we need to make sure that the field so if username equals whatever username this applies so this is mandatory. Uh, it's a big mistake on my part because now if I do this and submit it, uh, email just still failed. Why? There it goes. Okay, so let's just make sure both of these are working. Okay, so you can see now it's set up so that these are not failing. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is, there's another thing that I saw earlier, but I don't see it now. We'll be fine, uh, I guess. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh, the big thing is, let's just say I did this properly, so the username and the password, uh, this will fail because it automatically picks up that's not real. Um, that our password123 uh, won't get saved. If I do this, it says cannot prepare query. And the reason for that is that it doesn't recognize the password field because the password field doesn't exist. So what we need to do is, when we're saving, just before we go into where we actually save it, or right here, this line right here, we need to do a few things. Uh, we need to say this set password equal to this password, and then we need to unset this user data password. And what this will do is, you remember our set password creates our salt and hash, for whatever password they supply. Then we need to remove the password key from our array. And what this will do is if I reload and try again, it works. It redirect redirected us to login.php. Uh, if we open this up, you can see that this was inserted properly both times. I don't know how or when this one was, but uh, we're going to truncate it and put it right back where it was, where I like it, uh, just by going to the sign up page and clicking the submit button or sign up. Okay, so that's exactly what I want it to do. I want it to be able to insert it. Uh, but the thing is, is that I mentioned in the last video that right now it we can come in here and, for instance, I can change this very easily to, let's say, admin, and I wanted to make the value. Uh, let me change it back. Admin, and I can change its value to one. Um, and now, if I refine that element, well, the inspector's DOM not, is not picking that up. Changes to one. Okay. So what this is doing is, if I was trying to be sneaky or clever, you know, I could see, oh, user admin that must be linking, uh, or the first name previously, that must be linking up to our field. So if I change this to admin and say it's one, then they'll think it'll the script will make me an admin, you know, or something like that. Uh, very likely, it's not really that hard to do, especially if you just saw that. 
So what we can do to fix that is when we're saving, we can do a thing. We can do, um, we're going to do exactly what we have right here, another array walk. Except we're going to do it with this user data. And uh, this is just going to be the value and the type. And this will actually just be the, the field. Um, we don't need to use self here. We don't need this. So what we're going to do with this is this is where we don't need this variable, by the way. We only need field. Uh, what we're going to do is loop through every single user data variable. Uh, and that's going to be created from our do sign up where we submit everything inside a post user. So what we want to do here is just say if our uh, if it's in the array and uh, we're looking at our field here and we're just going to create a quick array here. Uh, I don't know if how much people worry about it with PHP as they do with JavaScript, you know, with just creating this array over and over again. Uh, we can do proper fields or something. Equals an array. I'm not sure we'll have access to it. We should, though. We'll find out. And if we don't, we can always do the little use method. Uh, what we'll do here is we're just going to say the fields that are, these are only the fields, so only allow specific fields. And I think I may have misspelled that. Nope. Okay, cool. Um, so we're going to allow for the first name field, last name, uh, password, if I can remember all these, oh, email address, and username. Okay, so it doesn't really matter in the order. You, these are the allowed fields for when saving. Um, so what we're going to do here is if this is in our proper fields. Let's try to globalize that. Um, and what we're doing is saying if it's not, if what this will what this means is that if um, the field in here is not a first name, last name, password, email address, or username, then we're gonna die and this will kill the script and say, oh no, something went wrong. I'm not sure the commas needed, but grammar's not my, my best subject. Uh, oh no, something went wrong. Uh, please go back and try again. I'm going to yell it out at him, you know. Go back and try it again. No. Um, yeah, so that should do it. Uh, um, the, the whole point of killing the script and doing this is because I kind of expect that when this happens where something gets put in here wrong they must have done something whether JavaScript something like whatever it was this is not supposed to happen and uh, the easiest way to correct it is just to kill the script uh, you don't have to kill the script uh, one thing that you could do is return false uh, and that'll just stop the script and say that it didn't save but uh, this will give the, the user something to look at uh, if you wanted to you know you could log um, well, like what I'll do just to kind of show you this, if you wanted to, you can do debug. Um, you wouldn't want to do it exactly like this, but if you could use oh, debug backtrace. So let's try it out. This should be set to admin. Yeah, so if I run this, you can see line 81. Yeah, we may have to do that little thing where we say, uh, use proper fields. Let's try it again. Okay, you can see here that it's killed the script and it's given us our stuff, but this all in code tags or pre-tags is telling us everything that's happened. It's telling us uh, that we have this little function here. Um, it's not giving us our line number for this specific thing, uh, but right here you can see that in user.php, which is the main file, on line 86, which is right here where we closed it, I guess, uh, it ran the function array walk, and these are the arguments that it was given. It was given this first argument, um, and it looks, I'm not sure exactly all this stuff, uh, but it looks like this was actually um, this user data, maybe. But you can see, you can access everything that was put in here. Um, and that's the whole point. 
Uh, and you can see every process that it went through. You can see it went through do sign up dot php. Uh, it what, the user object was given this amount of data on it, uh, and that's where it was act the class was actually initialized. Uh, and you can kind of see how this stuff flows. So if you needed it, uh, if something like this happens, you know, and you're yeah, you can always log it and save it to a file, email yourself or something like that, and get all this information. Uh, and that'll really be pretty helpful because you can kind of go back and see, oh, I did something wrong or something like that, you know. Um, okay, so that's that's that. Um, that's not needed right now, though, because I don't want everybody to see what's going on. But right now, that should be plenty to uh, get that set up. So you, it does require you to use the, the proper fields. Um, so that should be everything. Uh, the big things that I covered in this were to make sure that they only use specific fields. Uh, we can actually set the password and that the validate for um, uniqueness of is working the way it should be working. Okay, so thanks for watching this video and goodbye.